Hello everyone, I'm Angel Romero. I'm a PhD student at the Robotics and Perception Group under the supervision of Professor Davide Scaramuzza. And today I'm going to talk about our ongoing research in autonomous drone racing, specifically about our work on time optimal online replanning. Autonomous drones are still far from human pilots in terms of speed, agility, and robustness. Human pilots take years to acquire the skills shown in this video. Our dream is to be an autonomous pilot that can fly drones as good or even better than human pilots. And this is where we stand right now. We are able to counteract unknown wind disturbances while passing through gates in minimum time. We can even fly as fast as possible through moving gates. Today, I'm going to talk about the approach that has allowed this, time optimal online replanning. Let's jump directly to the definition of drone racing problem. We define the drone racing task as an optimization problem where the time is minimized. This optimization is subject to the system dynamics and constraints and to the constraints of the track, meaning passing through a series of gates in a certain order. But the question is, how do we solve this problem? Different approaches are possible. Classical approaches need to first generate a path, which is the planning task, and then track it, which is the control task. Existing approaches for multi waypoint trajectory planning have either been based on polynomials that are smooth by definition or have only used a simplified quadrotor model. Using numerical optimization, we have developed the first method that is able to generate a true time optimal trajectory that exploits the full quadrotor actuation space. For the first time, we were able to outperform a professional human pilot in a drone race. However, this approach presents several limitations. First, it takes a long time to converge, ranging from minutes to hours. Therefore, it is not possible to replan the trajectory when there are unknown disturbances, state estimation drifts, or model mismatches. Additionally, these trajectories are very hard to track in the real world, since all actuators are saturated most of the time by definition. Therefore, any disturbance or model mismatch can potentially lead to a crash. The proposed method combines model predictive contouring control, which is the state of the art in model based agile flight, with an efficient trajectory generation algorithm. This combination allows to fly in minimum time while being able to deal with changing conditions, like for example moving gates or strong winds. But what is model predictive contouring control, also known as MPCC? In contrast to classical approaches, which need a pre-computed dynamically feasible trajectory, MPCC directly maximizes at every time step the progress through a nominal path while minimizing the contour error. The progress is shown in this picture in orange and the contour error is shown in green. This nominal path, which is shown in blue, can be any differential 3D path and it does not need to be feasible. While for classical MPC, the time allocation of the reference states is done offline at planning time. For MPCC, the time allocation is done on every time step, allowing it to better cope with unknown disturbances or model mismatches. So, for the application of drone racing, how do we pass through the gates? How do we use the model predictive contouring controller such that the platform always passes through the gates? We add a dynamic contour weight such that at every gate, we give more importance to passing close to the path than to going fast. For this, we have a Gaussian function at every gate such that the importance of the contour error is maximum at the center of the gate. This creates a region of attraction around every gate. In the plot on the right, we show two different flights on the same track. One with the dynamic allocation, red one, and another one without, blue one. Notice how the blue one does not pass through the majority of the gates, while the red one does. Now, how do we generate a time optimal path quickly? Instead of using the full quadrotor model, which as we have shown before, takes hours to generate, we can use a time optimal point mass model for the path generation. This is possible due to the fact that MPCC does not need a feasible path to track. Given initial and final positions and velocities, the point mass model time optimal trajectory has closed form solution. Since we know the position of the platform and its velocity right now, 
and the position of all gates, we just need to know the velocity of the platform at the gates. Therefore, we sample these velocities at the next three gates and form a graph. Every edge of this graph is a minimum time trajectory for a point mass, which, again, has a closed form solution and is very fast to generate. We solve this graph using Dijkstra's algorithm and select the lowest time trajectory. This trajectory can be obtained in around 3 milliseconds, which allows for real-time replanning. Here, you can see in red the point mass model trajectory generation, which generates a nominal path three gates ahead of the current position. This path generation is being triggered at every time step, hence online replanning. In green, we show the prediction horizon of the MPCC controller, which is maximizing the progress of the platform online. Note that the center gate is moving from side to side, and the drone is still able to pass through it in minimum time. Here, we show the same experiment, but with a real drone. The drone is flying time optimally at speeds of more than 60 km per hour. The gate is constantly being moved, and the drone is still able to fly through it thanks to the online replanning capabilities of the proposed method. Finally, in this experiment, we apply the same approach and evaluate the behavior of the replanning algorithm when facing strong wind disturbances with wind speeds of up to 70 km per hour. Notice how the drone is still passing through the gate even when disturbed. Thank you very much for your attention.